why is now the right time for you coming back? Uh, it's probably not the right time. I've been ready since I left the UFC. Uh, I was ready to fight like you know, like a month into me boxing training, but it's just boxing just seems totally different from MMA. Like it can't seem to get fights made. I don't know whether I don't know what the politics behind it is, but it's been it's been brutal to be honest with you. How has your training been? Who's who's helping you out? And what yeah. is it? How long have you been kind of preparing for this fight on on top of everything? I, yeah, I haven't been preparing obviously, obviously for this fight. I've been preparing for a fight. Obviously, boxing's a bit different from MMA, uh, specific wise. But uh, yeah, I've just been two years. I've just been hard at it with my team, Joe and Zach in the Rotunda. A lot of world class boxers in there as well. So I've been able to learn loads. And as I say, uh, I like training hard, so I like to put a lot of hard hard hours in, you know, over day and over night. So it's been a bit hard staying motivated to be totally honest with you, but that's just that's just the way the game goes, isn't it? Like you gotta get up at it. You can't be watching you know, if you feel a need to be watching motivational videos to train then fighting ain't your sport. You need to just get out of bed and just train hard, innit? Was there anywhere along the way you got close to going back to the UFC or was it always kind of in your mind to, to give boxing a go? Yeah, I was going to go back to the MMA. I probably wouldn't have went to the UFC straight away because the level's gone so high since I left. So I would have needed a few years to like dabble my toe back in. But there was a few MMA offers that came along and I have considered them. Like one Russian organisation offered me a fight for good money. Uh, and then like I had a few other talks uh, with stuff like that. So yeah. Who knows, mate? I'm just trying to survive each day, to be honest. <laughs> You've been in some massive nights, some massive arenas against some really high-level opponents. How much have you missed fight night and being in the arena and being in the octagon and, and getting those juices flying? Yeah, I have. I've missed it massively. Like, I, I love it. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's exhilarating. There's no way... Uh, there's nothing that can compare to it on Earth. Uh, you know, like, the thrill and then the fear of fighting, like, no drug can ever top stuff like that, you know, getting in there and having a good old punch-up, nothing better than that. A lot of fighters say that when they retire from the sport, that's the one thing they'll miss is yeah. that walk to the octagon or the yeah. ring. Has that kept you going a little bit, that motivation? Yeah, but, but I mean, I don't know, when, I'm, when I retire, I'll probably just go start and fight in the streets anyway, something like that, you know, I'm not going to stop fighting. <laughs> I'm not a bully boy, but I'll find someone or somewhere to fight, innit? Have you struggled with that over the past couple of years, not having that to look yeah. forward to? A little bit, yeah. I've, it's hard. It's me, it's me true love. I don't really have any hobbies outside of fighting in the gym. Uh, so yeah, it's. It can have a, it can have like an ad, it can have a, a mental effect on you, on you. So you have to stay. You have to keep the brain in uh, fine tune. You have to, you have to find something else, which is quite hard sometimes when you only have this in your life. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. What do you make of Tommy Fury as a fighter? He's all right. He, he can give a good dig. Don't think he likes taking a dig. Uh, yeah, he's, I don't know, mate. He's. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know. He's just a fat you said, isn't he? <laughs> he's just a fat you said. You've been in situations that he wouldn't have been in, in terms of you've been in the trenches with, with some really experienced guys. Does that play a part at all on January 18th? Yeah, I, I would say it does as well, but he's obviously been around like Tyson and that. Uh, so he's obviously, he's experienced the big nights, do you know what I mean? He's, he's boxing royalty, Tyson Fury, one of the greatest heavyweights of our of our generation. So yeah, it's a bit like hit and miss. I think he's been a part of it, but like at the same time, he hasn't. So yeah, I don't think he'd be too phased though. Well, he might, I don't know. I'm going to break him anyway before the fight. I'm going to knock at his house and just flatline him. How about that? Growing up, learning the ropes of MMA, how much boxing experience and training did you get in? Lots. Lots. I'm a good boxer. I'm a good boxer. How would you describe your style as a boxer? Clever. Got a good fight IQ. I think fighting's always... Like fighting's fight IQ, so you can be tough, you can be strong. Uh, but I think, essentially, Fight IQ wins fights, so I've got a good fight IQ when it comes to striking, so that's what I think I probably got more than Tommy. Tommy's a bit of a, he's a bit of an empty head, isn't he? I don't think he's got a lot going upstairs. He's a bit stupid. Going back to the UFC then, do you potentially want or see a path back to getting back to the UFC? Yeah, I do, yeah. Uh, I'd love to go back to the UFC and try for a belt. 
Uh, I'm still young, like you know, just that Terry, you know, I'm on Terry one. You know, they, they say you're prime and you're peak in MMA is like 33, 34. So I know I've got a little bit left in the tank on that. So we'll just say it just, just depends on the motivation factor and like the injury factor and stuff like that. You know, MMA is a brutal sport. Uh, so yeah, who knows? I might just retire and just get on the air every day. I don't know what I might do. I'm not asked. Is there anyone in the UFC at the moment that you kind of look at that's maybe pushing their way up the ranks that you go, actually, I'd, I'd like a crack at them? Yeah, I think Bo Nickel. Bo Nickel's in the UFC now. He's, he's, he's chatting a lot of sh**. And he's done nothing. He's done absolutely nothing. Like, his wrestling credentials are unbelievable. Like, top wrestler. Uh, can't fault him that way. But, he's, you know, he's just, a, he's just a cocky little c I know I used to talk a lot of sh**. But I, like, I don't know, I feel like my, the way I do it's humble. I think he's just an arrogant little c yeah, Bo Nichols a wicker, to be honest with you. An absolute gob. Sorry. <laughs> Just lastly, how does it go on January 18th? I think, I think it has to go my way, doesn't it? Or, you know, just one of them, and I just, not really asked. I just want to. I just want to put on a good performance, and uh, I reckon I can break him. I reckon I can break him in the later rounds. Back preparing for another main event. How excited are you for January 18th? Yeah, just excited for a number of reasons. Excited the fact that I'm main eventing again in my hometown of Manchester. Um, excited for the fact that I've had a year off due to surgery and I'm back again. Um, due to the fact that it's an exciting fight everybody can get their teeth into. Um, due to the fact of everything, kicking off the new year, right? You know, there's lots to be excited about. That year out of the ring, how much have you been looking forward to getting back into a big event like this? Oh, it's been the only thing I've dreamt of, to be honest, um, because coming off the two previous fights, you know, there are massive worldwide events, and to be coming back on another big stage, it's, it's everything that I was dreaming of and hope that I'll get back to this point. And the fact that we're here now, then I can just enjoy it. I'm already in shape, I've been training like a demon, so it's all enjoyment for me. Yeah, how long have you been able to be back in the gym? I've been in a training camp since August um, because obviously I've had quite a while out so I've been using my time wisely. I've been in the gym three times a day um, and I've really put together a, a machine. I wouldn't even call it a body, I'd call it a machine, especially what my dad's been putting us through. So uh, yeah, we're ready to go. Enjoying being back in that deep, dark training? Oh, 100%. I enjoy the sparring. You know, you're coming out, you're taking your knocks because I don't spar anyone that I can just beat up. There's no point in that. So we have good quality guys around um, to, to spar with, so I'm enjoying the sparring. I'm enjoying the early morning runs. I'm enjoying my weight training. I'm enjoying everything, hitting the pads again. I enjoy it all. What do you make of Darren as a potential boxing opponent? I mean, obviously, we've all not seen too much of him in a boxing ring, but um, I know one thing, he's going to be tough um, and he's going to want to come to win. So... We're going to get a good fight, but you know, all as I know is that I've been doing this a long time and when you put someone in there with me that's not been doing it a long time or not been studying the sweet science, then it does only go one way. He has said, or he said before, he's had a lot of boxing experience when he yeah. was coming through, learning MMA, learning the ropes. Yeah. Do you think he'll be able to match you in that sense? No, because I know I have a lot of friends who are MMA fighters and I know the way that they will learn how to box and I know the way that we learn how to box. Um, so it's, it's, it's very different, it's very different. But then today, I'm not treating it like that. I'm treating it like he's been a seasoned boxer and he's great and he's a Mike Tyson and he's a world champion. That's how I'm training because I give everyone the utmost respect. So uh, that's why I'm in the shape I'm in already, you know, two months out from a fight uh, because I give him that respect. So, yeah, we'll see. You've been in with what would traditionally be uh, deemed as professional boxers. You've been in with a couple of guys who are turning their hand at it. Yeah. Which do you prefer and what do you see as your path forward? Um, it's tough to say really, um, you know, obviously the, the non-boxers, it's, it's a bit of a bit of a circus, you don't really know what you're going to get, it's, you know, it's, it's not it's got the, the class of proper professional boxing, but listen, it's financially amazing, it is, you can't, you can't speak out, it's not, at the end of the day, why are we all here, to set ourselves and our family up, you know, I believe I've done that in the fights that I've took in the past, and, you know, I'm here to enjoy it, but I, I like, I say it and I say it again, in that space, I will only fight the top guys. I'm not interested in, you know, fighting anybody else on that scene. It's either three names, you know, everybody knows what they are, um, and if it's not them, it'll be some other form of a proper fighter. It won't be an old man, it won't be anyone else. Like, till now, you know, he's, he's 30, 31, 32, he's in his prime, and he'll come to fight, as he says, he's boxed, and so, yeah, it's, it's a good fight. We've seen it take off in the past couple of years, obviously misfits and this type of, ev of event. How big do you think it can get? This fight or in general? In general. Um, 
I think it's as big as it's going to get, to be honest. I don't think it can get any bigger. Uh, you know, me and Jake Paul sold out everywhere, like m millions of pay-per-views, same with KSI. Like, it's not going to get any bigger, is it? But, you know, I think it'll just keep on going and keep on going because it's obviously a niche in the market and it's something that everybody wants to see. So I think it'll go for as long as it's going to go. Just lastly on Jake Paul, I know yep. you'll be asked about it already today, yep. but what did you make of that fight and Jake's performance in particular? I didn't really make anything of the fight, I'll be honest. Um, the fight's not something I... I knew it was going to be exactly like that. Um, I knew they wasn't going to hit each other properly. I knew it wasn't going to be a proper fight. Um, it was a cash grab, commercially, and everything like that, business sense, it was absolutely amazing. Uh, well done to both guys for getting that money in and leaving, that, leaving the ring with not even a scratch. So, you know, but as the genuine fight fans who didn't know anything like that, who thought it was going to be a proper fight, obviously they was let down, but it is what it is. Would you take a rematch with him? With Jake Paul? Yeah, in a heartbeat, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, it's. I think me and him are set in stone. Like, I think me and him was the first people in, of. Some, I think me and him was the first people to box in Saudi. I'm not sure if he was or not. It might have been Joshua and Ruiz, I'm not sure. But we started, like, that thing off, um, you know, and it's, he's only got one defeat, and that's to me. So it's inevitable that we are going to get back in the ring, and I know I'm going to be an improved fighter, and with him, the tracks that he's taking and what he's doing, I'm not sure if he's going to improve that much.